Good morning and welcome to Moments in Black History. Our first moment on this second Sunday in February happened on the 14th in 1817 with the birth of Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass, born Frederick Augustus Washington Bailey, was an escaped slave who became a prominent activist, author, and public speaker. He became a leader in the abolitionist movement, which sought to end the practice of slavery before and during the Civil War. After that conflict and the Emancipation Proclamation of 1862, he continued to push for equality and human rights until his death in 1895. On this day, we also celebrate the founding of Morehouse College in 1867. This is a private post-secondary institution for men located in Atlanta, Georgia. The school began as Augustus Institute in Augustus, Georgia. It was established to train black men for the ministry and for careers in education. In 1879, the Institute was moved to Atlanta and became the Atlanta Baptist Seminary. In 1897, the school was renamed Atlanta Baptist College. Atlanta Baptist College was renamed Morehouse College in 1913 in honor of Henry Lyman Morehouse, a supporter of the school. Graduates of the college include Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Julian Bond, Edwin Moses, and Spike Lee. The purpose of the 15th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution was to give African American male citizens the right to vote. Ratification by Southern states was in most cases a condition of the readmission to Congress. As a result, all the former Confederate states except Tennessee ratified the amendment within months. However, Tennessee, already readmitted to the Union, refused to ratify, in part because the state had passed the law in February 1867, allowing blacks to vote. In fact, Tennessee did not ratify the 15th Amendment until more than a century later in 1997. Tennessee's first statewide election to include black voters took place in 1867. That September, voters in Nashville elected an African American to the Board of Aldermen, but he was not permitted to take his seat because Tennessee law still prohibited blacks from holding office. Join us next Sunday as we continue to celebrate more moments in black history.